she's a massive piece of shit. So the second PlayStation State Play was just dedicated entirely to Hogwarts Legacy. Did you watch that? I I, I watched it after the fact. I didn't watch it live, yeah. but I watched like the fourteen minutes of of gameplay. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts? Some of it is is great. Like I like the idea of this like a mystery, and you've got to solve the mystery and stuff like that. But then there's mm. other parts that were like, and you'll be at school, and you'll be in class, and you've got homework, <laughs> and I'm just like, but I did that. It like was weird. It was years like... ago. Like it's, it was a bit like uh, Bully, wasn't it? It had yeah. like a vibe uh -huh. of kind of... But with Bully, it was like two minutes of class and then the rest was doing missions. I've just yeah. got this feeling you're going to spend like a good three hours before <laughs> you go off to do it, like doing potions. Yeah. And so you've got to upgrade your character so they're better at fighting. Yeah. And I don't know why, but the wand fighting just to me looks ridiculous. Now, I'm a massive <laughs> Harry Potter fan. I love right. the, the the books. I was in I was in line at Tesco at midnight to get the final one because I, I love Harry Potter. Like nobody knows that. That's like big yeah, news. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do I do love. I mean, maybe less so since you know J.K. Rowling's a massive dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, the game it was like it was two games. I like the adventure side of it. I don't mm. like the idea of having to do homework and yeah potions I'm, classes. I'm and the shit. opposite. I'm not a Harry Potter fan, so like. Yeah my i think maybe three books had come out at this point and my um my step gran or step nana um she bought me like the the trilogy of books out that wow at the time and i read and i used to and this was at the height of when i used to love reading books and i read maybe half the first book i was bored of yeah. <laughs> well, um, i enough. just never never got into it and then i watched the first film it was all right and then i worked at a cinema when two of the films came out when i was like 19 or 20 and i did go and see them because all my friends went to see them who i was working with and stuff yeah um, and th they were fine movies but the antithesis is that i actually really like the fantastic beast movies <laughs> like i think right. they're really good fun but it's probably because i just don't care about like the children's side of it yeah like, yeah mm -hmm. you know what i mean i just i'm just not interested in kids essentially in most in in films or otherwise oh, I'm, I'm exactly like, the same. like so i think maybe that's it but i must say i watched that trailer and i was really impressed like yeah. i couldn't believe how good it looked visually and i was really impressed with the scope of like wow there's so much to fucking like when it made obviously perfect sense but when it showed you them and flying on the, um, the broomstick or whatever mm -hmm. on his fucking nimbus 3000 or whatever like when i fucking seen that i was like oh fuck yeah it, of course they can fly a boot and stuff and but then it blew my mind even more because it was like so now we're on a completely different plane do you know what i mean yeah it's kind of like you know it's kind of like if, if they added a fly mechanic the fucking elden ring you know what i mean where you're like oh, oh this yeah. is beautiful oh you can fly as well like it, it just i was just like fuck like, no, I, I, I don't and it was know. so long as well yeah i don't know if this is actually true or if maybe i've just thought this up but i'm pretty sure that in elden ring you can fly a dragon i, I don't quote us on that i think it's either because do you know when you watch so much youtube and it's just all like goes into it in your brain I'm pretty yeah. sure I saw a video of somebody flying a dragon, but I'll have God to double knows. check. But yeah. if you can, I mean, yeah. But yeah, I, I get I get what you mean. I really do. But it's just mm. the school side of things I'm not interested in. I don't yeah. want to see Professor Flitwick pull a goblin out of a hat or whatever. I don't know whatever they do in the, in the... <laughs> goblin. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a magician. He's a well, wizard. It's well, different. Uh, well, sorry. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the... <laughs> I'm the fan, and you're like, well, actually, it's not the not, not magicians, the wizards. Um, yeah, just because I mean, you're basically like, I can't believe he didn't pull a rabbit out of that. I don't want to yeah. see that. Goblin man. Um, so yeah. what's a card trick, man? I know, do do card <laughs> tricks. Just kill Voldemort with card tricks. Find the queens or whatever. I um, also think as well, though, it looked a bit like, you know, like the outfit and stuff. Obviously, it was like the school kind of kind of cape thing that they wear. I was like, obviously that looked lame. And then later on in the trailer, it showed customization. I was like, oh wow, this is kind of like, it was like bullying away when you go out of town into the out of the school into yeah. the town, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you're just wearing normal clothes. And I'm like, this is cool as fuck. Yeah. So like for me, I was like, this is like Harry Potter and bully combined. Yeah. In a much bigger open world, so I was really impressed, and I did not expect the trailer to be that long and show that much. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, I, like, after like two, minutes, two minutes, minutes, I was like, this isn't real yeah after yeah. like two minutes i was like fuck off it's not this big and then they just kept and like i wouldn't have believed it if, if you just 
if he'd wrote, wrote everything down that happened and just read it to us, I would say fuck off. That's all in that game. But yeah. the fact that they backed it up with gameplay, I was just like, oh, wow, this is massive. Yeah, man. I mean, it could be great. It could, it could. be shit. It, it could. I mean, it, it could. I mean, have you obviously heard about the controversy around it? Like, um, trans people aren't going to support the game yeah. and stuff like that. And I, I do understand it. I do. And like, I'm not going to tell anybody what they should shouldn't do. Do you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. it's their their right. I mean, like a lot of people, a lot of trans people love J.K. Rowling until she opened her fucking mouth. Do you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. it's it's broke my heart, and I totally 100 percent understand that. Mm-hmm. And if they don't want to do it, that's fine. But at the, at the heart of it as well, there, there is a team of hardworking individuals who are making this game who are going to get punished for that. Do you know yeah. what I mean? They they can't I help think... the fact that she's a massive piece of shit. They're stuck between a rock and a hard well, place. It, I mean, yeah. obviously, I say the the moral side of it. Like, obviously, I'm completely pro trans. I, I think in the game you can actually um, be a trans character as well. Oh well, that, that's um, I'm sure they announced that. But like, I understand that that side of it. Um, for me personally, like I say, because I have no um, investment in the series, like, I don't care about Harry mm. Potter. Like, never really cared about it beforehand. Like. It's not massively moving to me in in that sense. I think J.K. Rowling's obviously a piece of shit. I've yeah. not really looked into much of what you said because, like, once again, I'm not really invested in that world. Uh-huh. I don't really care yeah. about her um, per se. But like, she's literally a billionaire. Yeah, I know. Well, that's so it. like, I know that there's the idea of that like, you're keeping money out of our pockets, but it's like she wouldn't even notice that money go in or not yeah. or not well, either way. It, yeah. Like. Harry Potter could literally die, and this is why she's free to say whatever the fuck she wants. Oh, yeah, because she's made her fran- money. Because she's made so much money. The franchise, she could kill the franchise completely and just say, like, well, actually, I've, I've wrote Harry Potter, and he's actually a racist the whole time. Like, she yeah. could say that now oh, yeah. and kill the franchise or whatever, and it wouldn't have any negative effect on her other than, like I say, her social media, certain people, like, well, feeling a it. certain way. But when you live in this, when you're a billionaire, it's, it's an unfathomable bubble that she lives in. Mm-hmm. Like... I agree. She's just untouchable, essentially. Yeah. So, like, it's not going to affect her either way. Yeah. So, I just well, think it boils it. down to like, is 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 it, is it? Can you separate the art from the artist? It's like it's kind of like the Michael Jackson thing. Can you listen? Because weirdly, I can listen to Michael Jackson and really enjoy it. Like, I love Michael Jackson movie, movie yeah. music, even though I do think he was a wrong. Oh but yeah. Co- like the 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 kind of opposite of that or converse that would be like um, the Lost Prophets. The lead singer of the Lost Prophets like oh, went yeah. to prison for being a pedo. I can't listen to the Lost Prophets now. Like yeah. moralistically, I can't bring myself to listen. And I loved a lot of those songs because I'm mm-hmm. a filthy emo, you know what I mean? So I love <laughs> that music from that time when I yeah. was like 13, 14. Um, and I like, but I won't I won't choose to listen to that music. Whereas I will with Michael Jackson. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I, it's it's that it's, it's like I say, I think it's either way. I don't think that if you choose to um play the game it makes you a piece of shit no i also think in twitter as well a lot of people really don't understand in the twitter sphere that it's an echo chamber of your own opinions so you're mostly shown content that you like and then it tries to show you similar content that you like so it might appear that everyone is on your side sometimes when they're not yeah. mm-hmm. or it's a vocal minority as well so like the gaming community for example a low massive on twitter in terms of the actual wider gaming community, it's such a small amount are on Twitter talking about video games. So, like, to be like, oh, everyone who buys that game hates trans people. I bet you there'll be literally a million or, or more people who buy that game and have no idea there was any controversy. Oh, yeah, it. of course. I mean, because some of my mates, follow the news. Yeah, like that casual gamers, and they'll see a game like, oh, that looks all right, and they'll buy not knowing the controversy mm-hmm. around it, and, and mm-hmm. th- that's fine. But, I mean, wait... <sighs> The, the hill you die on kind of thing it's like well, where do you draw the line like i i 100 understand that i've got trans friends and i understand why they're so upset and hurt by it and i really fucking do and it's disgusting but like then are you buying jeans from like a place where they've used children and slave labor do you know what i mean yeah where, like, yeah. yeah and like where, where'd you get your iphone from or there's always yeah. there's always a harrowing story from everything in life and and, and there is so it's, I, it's like the kind of eternal the conundrum yeah well that's it that's yeah. it and it, it 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 does. I mean, it really upsets us that there's fans of of J.K. Rowling, and she's just come out and and it's basically well, I'm not transphobic, but it's like that. I'm not racist, but and then they say the most racist thing ever. It's transphobic. Yeah. What you've said is fucking horrible, and you shouldn't have said it. And you need to keep your mouth shut. But she keeps doubling down and doubling down, and and she's a horrible piece of shit for her. But again, what are they going to do? Because she's a billionaire. If she never ever makes another property ever again, she's made her money. 
She's got mm-hmm. Harry Potter. It's like George Lucas and Star Wars. Like he sold it to Disney for billions. Now he could turn yeah. around and say, oh, well, um, yeah, um, Luke Skywalker's a, a, a rapist. Well, what can you yeah. do about it now? Nothing. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. But then my, my mind went, oh, well, just buy the game secondhand. That way J.K. Rowling doesn't get your money. But then neither does the company that made the game. And again, which how how do you, do you support that company without supporting J.K. Rowling? You can't. And what that company has worked for hours and months and weeks and years on that game are being penalized because of that piece of shit. And that's why I yeah. don't think it's fair. And I, I genuinely well, believe pe- that. The argument I've seen is people going, well, developers get paid anyway. And they normally get a bunch of them normally get laid off. It's very normal in game development that once a game's launched, a big yeah. portion gets let go. So it's kind of like, well, they've already been paid anyway, whether the game does well or not. But it's just like, yeah, but the, the question is, is like, can you choose to play a game that you want to play? That's and it. at the end of the day, you can do what you like. At the end of the day, like some people are going to like you, some people are going to hate you. You know, it's it's like it's like if someone was to accuse you of being racist, it's not your job to to prove that disprove them wrong if they're just a random person. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Well, that's it, yeah. Because I know in my heart I'm not racist. So if someone came up and said you're racist, and they were just looking to get a reaction, they wouldn't get it from me. I'd just be like, no, I'm not, and then just move on yeah, with me well, day. It, yeah. And it's the same with that, like. Just because you play a Harry Potter game, that doesn't make you transphobic at well, all. Well, no, not at all. It not, really doesn't. Not at all. If you've got friends who are transphobic who choose to not speak to you as a result of that, that is very hard, obviously. Mm-hmm. But once again, that's their decision at the end of the day. And if they're, if they're your true friend, they would know the real reason why you were doing it. Or yeah, But I'm not oh, even yeah. a hardcore. I'm, I'm, like I say, I've got no horse in this race. I'm not no. a Harry Potter fan. I just yeah. think that I was I was very pleasantly surprised by how good it looked. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm cool still not game. sure I would play it. I'm, I'm still not sure I would play it regardless because it's just not really my. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. House, I, but I, I was that. like, I thought it was like a very interesting topic, and I just think it was yeah. very. I mean, I was, very technically impressive demo though. Well, oh yeah, I, I agree. I mean, obviously, the only reason I bring it up is because I mean, I, I didn't want it to be like, well, we'll just talk about the cool shit and we'll not talk about the controversy because then you'll get yeah. people like, well, why didn't you mention that? And, and I just wanted to bring it up. I mean, I, I stand with trans people and I agree she's a piece of shit, but also the developers of the game and everybody involved work hard and you can support them without supporting her. It, it, that's the way I look yeah. at it. But again, I'm not telling people what they should and shouldn't do. That's just my opinion. And yeah, um, it's, ultimately everyone has to make their own individual decision and that's it yeah. just like just like fucking everything in life you deal with the consequences of that and yep i agree it is what it is but ultimately games are just meant to be a bit of fun aren't they yeah that's it